artist for a paint party, you have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just saw it. This is a pretty spring bunny. And I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly. But uh, I thought it would be cool. And I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose and might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Oh, hey, you guys. Hold on. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing great. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart, and I'm excited for today's class. Hey, Reagan. All right, you guys, are you ready? So I'm gonna definitely use acrylic paints today, and I am also gonna sketch it out first. I'm gonna do a sloppy copy. I'm going to use a black Sharpie to start my chapel and I, my format, I'm going to make my vertical or portrait mode. So it's longer this way, but you can change it. You can have it go horizontal if you choose. I want you to use a pencil though. I'm going to use a marker. This is my sloppy copy. You can practice first or you can go right to the good artwork. It's up to you. Let's see, so how about if we start, let's start right around here with a horizontal line. We're not gonna measure, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, there's a horizontal line, right? And then after the you have the horizontal line, you can do a vertical line arch it over and come back down with a vertical line. That's going to be a little church door. And I'm going to split it in half with another vertical line and have a little doorknob on each side, two little black dots. And then I'm going to make the chapel window. So I'm going to do a horizontal line on this side. Let's do a horizontal line on this side. So that has balance. You see it's the same on both sides, but yours doesn't have to. You could have more windows, you could have less windows because it's your artwork. So I am gonna go up with a vertical line and then I'm gonna arch over like that. I think I went over too far. And that's why we practice. Up and over. Vertical line up and over, up and over. Is it perfect? No. Does it have to be? No. And then I'm going to do, I don't know the name of it, like the, the entryway, right, where there's like a little roof. So I'm going to do another vertical line, vertical line, diagonal line, diagonal line, right? So that would be the little, um, hey, you guys. Now that we have that part, let's do the ch actual church building with a vertical line and a vertical line and a diagonal line for the roof and a diagonal line. Now, if you really want it to be nice, you can use a ruler. I'm not good. I'm not using a ruler, but if you really want a straight line, go ahead and use a ruler. Now I'm going to put a beautiful window here. So it's going to be a circle. If you want it to be perfect, find something that's a good size, maybe a cap to a drink or something. This would actually be a good, like a good circle, right? Depending on how big your paper is. I'm going to take a sip while I have it. Mm. All right. So now that I have my circle inside, I'm going to do almost like a flower, but I'm going to make it a mosaic church window. So that's just like a real basic design. It kind of looks like a flower. 
going to do vertical, vertical, diagonal, diagonal, and my cross. Okay. You can add a sun. You can put some sun rays. You could do the sun later. You could add clouds. You could add birds. Now inside here, I have also a little window. And we'll make that into a nice little mosaic later. You could put sh some shrubs over here. I'm going to put a tall tree on this side. It's going to get wider as it comes down. Put a little tree trunk. And to give the illusion that you're, you're walking up the sidewalk, like going to the chapel. So the um, sidewalk is going to be start here at the door and then it's going to get wider as it comes out to give the illusion that it's coming closer to you, right? The sidewalk. So you could just make it real rough, kind of sketch it out. It could be so the grass, you know, see how I'm going out? So it's widening. So that gives it the illusion, like an optical illusion that I'm here and I'm closer right here and that it's going farther back in the distance. And that's our sloppy copy. You could add little flowers over here, right? Any kind of flowers you want. You could put a garden. You could put a bumblebee because it's your artwork. You could put stems if you want. You don't have to. You could put flowers on both sides. Okay, so there's our sloppy copy. That's our practice. Now, you guys could be using that sketchbook, right, with the canvas paper in it, which is awesome. I'm going to do mine on canvas today, and I'm going to use acrylic paints. You know what I've never told you guys, and this came up the other day um, when I was painting. When I use, all right, you guys, the plate, you guys know I reuse these over and over and over, right? But look at mine's all cracked and stuff. I use styrofoam plates. And the reason why I use styrofoam instead of paper is because the paper actually absorbs the liquid from the paint. So it dries much quicker and it sucks out some of the moisture that we need in that acrylic paint. The styrofoam does not do that. So my paint will stay pretty good for hours. And then if I don't use it all, I cover my plate with aluminum foil. And I think you guys have seen me talk about this before, but another thing I do is I use egg curtains, okay? And the great thing about egg curtains, and yours does not have to be this big, this is just a Costco egg curtain. <laughs> so, but if you guys have an egg curtain with a lid, you can use that as a palette also, and then close the lid, and that should stay good for, you know, at least a few days. Um, so it doesn't dry out. So again, you can cover your plate with aluminum foil, or you can use an egg carton or a palette, right? But I hate wasting paint. So, all right. So I now am going to go to my good copy on my canvas. Okay. So let's start again with that horizontal line. And really, it just doesn't matter how close or far you are from the bottom. It just depends on, think about this. This is going to be the sidewalk, the grass, and the flowers. So how much of that do you want showing, right? So I'm going to do a horizontal line right around here. You can use a ruler if you want. Mine is not perfect. And then let's do the arch door, right? And yours doesn't have to be arched. Yours could be a rectangle. Little doorknobs. Let's make it half balanced. So I'm going to do the windows on both sides, right? Try to make them the same. Doesn't have to be perfect. That little, like little pavilion roof there. Now I'm going to do another vertical line, vertical line, diagonal line, diagonal line. This thing's poking through my canvas. Then I'll do the circle right here. And then that flower for my mosaic window or stained glass window. That's what I want to call it. My stained glass window. 
some bushes, my tall tree. It could be a cypress tree. It could be anything you want to be. You could add more than that, right? It doesn't have to be just one. Finish my horizontal line over there. Let's do the top of the church with a vertical line, then a vertical line, and a diagonal, and a diagonal, and my cross. And then a horizontal for another stained glass window. I love stained glass windows. They're so pretty, especially when the sun's out and then you're inside and you see all the reflection of the colors inside. Again, if you want to add the sun, you can add the sun. You can put a rainbow in the sky. You can put whatever you want to. Are you guys keeping up okay? Oh, good. I don't know. Um, I'm glad you find this relaxing, and I'm glad you're joining us, you guys. This is awesome. That's really why I do this and I've loved art for so long it I found it very relaxing really um my since the time I was a kid I was doodling and all right sometimes I even created art when I wasn't supposed to like in class on my notebook covers so um I have always found art enjoyable and uh yeah uh, so again I'm glad you guys are enjoying this I really it's more about the process than the product I know it's nice to have a beautiful artwork, but really I, I, I always say, think of how you feel when you first start, right? And then check again when you're done. Even if you're, if you're watching or if you're creating along, if you let go of the outcome or keeping up with me, right? And doing it at your own pace and doing your own thing and it looking like yours and not like mine, you, you, you'll feel good. You'll feel, you know, good. And you just finish it when you have time and change it up and add a rainbow or people you can use um, a variety of material so today you know what i'm going to do i want to paint the whole background light blue now you can do one of two things you can paint around everything light blue okay or you can cover it like me and then let it dry today i'm going to cover my whole background light blue and if you have a blow dryer, you can use a blow dryer. I'm not going to. I'm going to let mine dry naturally. But I haven't done this in a while where I paint right through everything. So I'm going to do that. If you have a flat paintbrush, a flat paintbrush looks like a square. Do you see that? And then a round paintbrush, you guys, has a point. So round has a point. That's great for details. But if you only have one, it's okay. And then a square, again, is great for large areas or a background. Now, because I'm going to paint through everything, I'm going to make it lighter. And if you notice, it's light. So, again, I'm going with the light blue. Notice the background is lighter at the bottom, closer to the grass. And then as you go up, it fades into more blue. So, remember, those are called tints, T-I-N-T, -I -N -T, a tint. You're, all, you're welcome. I'm glad you guys like the, the uh, printables. So um, the printables you can find under the files tab in the group. If you have not used one, you can print them out. You can use it as a reference. So I have a light blue on my flat paintbrush. Remember I told you I'm going to paint right through everything. So you can do that or you can paint around it. But I haven't done this in so long. And I like when I do this because, one, it's fun. And you get those really cool brush lines, right? So if it's too blue, I'm going to put more white in there. See, I like it lighter. So I'm going to put more white. And I'm just, I'm not even mixing it on my plate. I'm mixing it right on my canvas. So I just kept adding more and more white. Now, if you lose your pencil line, it's okay. We can redraw it later. But if you kind of spread out your paint, you should still be able to see it. But again, if you can't, that's okay. You have the general idea of where everything goes. Again, it's still blue. I want it lighter. And I'm using horizontal brush strokes. So if you have an old hair uh, blow dryer, literally it would dry in like one minute if you wanted to blow dry it and make it 
ready quicker. But we're gonna move around the canvas so by the time we come back to it, it should be dry. You see those horizontal streaks? I like that. That's why I like doing this. It's harder to get that look when you paint around stuff. So as you work your way up, I'm gonna to start to put a little bit more blue in there. But notice I'm using horizontal brush strokes. Horizontal brush strokes. I'm gonna tap a little bit of my blue. You just, again, because it's a tint of it, we're doing value, you just need a little bit. So that's a, that's a lot, right? So I'm gonna blend it in. I'm gonna work my way up. And it doesn't matter if you start at the top or the bottom. This thing is, I'm going to take this off of there. This thing is poking through my canvas and I don't like it. So it's causing a bump. So if you have an easel and you're getting a bump, take it off of it. I'll put it back on in a minute. It's just like right in that one spot. It's in my way. Oops, I bumped into the grain. Can you see it? <laughs> That's an accident. Okay, you guys know I make accidents all the time. No one's gonna know, shh, don't tell anyone. So I got some green in the sky, but I'm just gonna blend it in there. Okay, it's gonna turn probably turquoisey. So that, boy, I went through a lot of white. I think I told you guys this too. You're always going to use more white, more than any other color. You're going to go through white paint more. Because, you know, when we use black, we don't use that much black, right? But And when we use color, we're usually, usually uh, you know, lightening it up. So you're always going to need more white. And I'm definitely going to need more white. I have a bottle of it around here. So here it is. I told you guys this. So this is, I always have a quart of it. Even though I have the little colors around, little jar of green, but I always have a big white around because I tend to need more. And we don't want the background to be more intense necessarily than the front, right? So our church is going to be gray, and then the brush strokes on the church are going to go vertical, where the brush strokes for the sky are horizontal. You can use a darker blue. You could use a turquoise blue. You could have it sunset colors, right? Yours does not have to look like mine. You can have oranges and yellows and reds and purples. You can do a rainbow in the sky. So I lost a lot of my lines. So if, I, if you lose your lines, you can thin it down by going over it some more. Or we can just redraw it. We did it once. We could do it again. We have a general idea of where everything's going, right? I don't want that green in there. I'm going to try to cover that. Yeah, it's okay. As long as it doesn't look too green. Right? And I really don't want a green sky. You guys are the only ones that know that I made a mistake here. Shh, shh, don't tell anybody. So again, because I'm going to layer it, right? And again, you could be painting around it, but I'm going to layer it. So I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to move down to the green grass, right? Now here, I'm going to, do you want to do the same thing and just paint right through the sidewalk? 
if you don't, if you're not using acrylic paint, don't do that. Like, cause again, pa acrylic paint is very opaque if you wait for it to dry. So I can do the whole thing green and then go over it with my sidewalk. But if you don't use it, if you're not using acrylic, if you're using paint sticks or if you're using tempera, don't do that. So I'm going to use my light green and I'm going to do horizontal. See that with some white. And you can use yellow green, you can use dark green. I think these are like really pretty fun spring summer colors. Makes me feel happy. It's a little crooked, isn't it? So let's see if I can fix it a little bit. Sometimes I have to stand in the front of it so I can see how crooked I am. And you guys, I would definitely recommend doing that too. Again, I'm standing at the side, but sometimes like step back from your artwork as you're creating. Step back and look at it. See if it's crooked. See what you think of the colors. You can always change it. And you see how mine is um, a little bit, so sometimes I add more white and less white. I just added more green. So you can see, give it, it just makes it more interesting, right? A little more interesting than being one flat color. Yeah, that's pretty good for right now. Put some flowers over there. And how long it takes your artwork to dry depends on how humid the air is. So if you have the heat on, it's going to dry the moisture quicker. If you have the air on, same thing, it's going to dry the moisture quicker. If you have the windows open and it's humid out, it takes much longer to dry. So it just depends on where you're at and how humid it is or dry the air is. I'm still going to trust that this is going to dry because my blow dryer is in the other room. But again, if you're somewhere where it's humid, get a blow dryer and just dry it. If you're out in public, like at somewhere where they have the hand dryers, like schools or restaurants, I've done it plenty of times where people go into the bathroom and hit one of those hand dryers and dry their painting. Uh, it's funny. Even though it dries quick, sometimes people want to leave and they want their painting to be dry like right then and there. So they go into the restroom and they dry it. You know what? I don't, you know what I can, you know what I'm going to read you guys? I don't have a chapel book. But I have, I don't think I read you this book yet. Who asked me that? Is that Reagan? All right, Reagan, you know what, for you? <laughs> okay, this is an incredible book. Tell me if I read you guys this book. It's not a chapel book, but what do you think? Did I read you this with by LeBron James? Just tell me yes or no. I don't think I did. I, um, it's one of my favorite books. Okay. And I had no idea that LeBron James wrote a book until I went to the library and saw it. And LeBron James, you guys is from Ohio, right? He, he played for Cleveland for so long and he's no longer with us, but I still like him. So I love this book. I think it's beautiful for today. And so I'll read you that. The artwork is amazing. Okay. I love the illustrations. So it's illustrated by Nina Mata. And um, it's called I Promise. Okay. I promise to work hard and do what's right to be a leader in this game of life. I promise to go to school and read as much as I can to follow the rules and respect the game plan. Okay, look at this little art class. Look at that little self-portrait, little tricky handprints. I think that's so cute, right? I promise to run full court and show up each time to get right back up and let my magic shine. I promise to be open and try new things and enjoy the happy that change can bring. Okay. 
I promise to wear a big smile and use kindness when I speak, to remain strong yet humble with every win and defeat. I promise to ask for help whenever I need it, to reach for my star even when I can't see it. I promise to ask questions and find answers, to believe in next time and second chances. I promise to use my voice and stand up for what's right. And when things get tough, to keep up the fight. I promise to respect my elders and peers the same, to leave new places better than I came. I promise to stay true, keep my head up, and never give up, no matter what. I promise to dream big and love bigger, to be a team player and a winner. I promise to cross bridges and break down walls, to rise with the sun and learn from the falls. I promise to be courageous, to be free, to strive for greatness. I promise to be me. I love that. And then it says, I promise to go to school, to do all of my homework, to listen to my teachers because they will help me learn, to ask questions and find answers, to never give up no matter what, to always try my best, to be helpful and respectful to others, to live a healthy life by eating right and being active, to make good choices for myself, to have fun, and above all else, to finish school. Hashtag strive for greatness, okay? And I don't know if you guys know this, but LeBron James opened up a school uh, in Akron, Ohio called Promise. It's a Promise Academy, okay? And it says, the Promise School was inspired by the big dreams of kids in my hometown and around the world. It's a, pl it's a place committed to helping them and their families reach their full potential. At the start of every school year and repeated each morning, all students make a set of promises to themselves, just like those in this book. Setting goals, working hard, and holding yourself accountable are the first steps to success. We're excited to have you join in this journey to achieve your goals. Here's our daily promise to get you started. Remember, nothing is given, everything is earned. LeBron James. Okay. Again, I'm not a big sports person, but this really made me like the LeBron James. So this is a book I'm probably going to purchase because I love it so much. And um, this is LeBron James on the back. We are family, right? And there's the library barcode because it's due. <laughs> But don't get paid on it, Denise. You guys know I try so hard to be neat, but sometimes, um, you know, accidents happen, right? But I'm going to do my best today to be a little bit neat. So my paint is still wet here. And so I don't want to do the sun. I don't want to do my church yet. What I could, and my grass is pretty wet too, but what I can do, well, I don't want to do my shrubs yet because I don't want them to, I want my shrubs to be, remember we're going to do background to foreground and my church is behind the shrubs, right? So we don't, we want to do our church next. So if you guys want to, um, you're going to need a tiny bit of gray and I don't even have that on my plate yet. So let me get that, which is black and white, just a touch of black, you guys. And you might even have gray paint if you have one of those kits, right? So I'm going to make mine with a little bit of black, just a touch, and white. So remember, you just need a touch of black. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> That's kind of cool. I'm going to show you in a minute. I, I guess I didn't cap it all the way. It started drying. Look at that. A touch of black. That's a touch. And I'm going to mix some white into it. And you can do it right on your canvas. I'm still going to use a flat paintbrush. So again, look at the church. The lines are going vertical, right? And if you want, you can paint through the glass. It depends on how quick your paint's drying. Let's see. So black and white. I'm going to paint right through my whole building. Ready? I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. So I'm using vertical brush strokes. Okay, my blue's a little bit wet and I just bumped into it. But shh, no one knows. Right? Everything I do is perfect. You guys know it's not. Come on. No. I just don't even, oh, look, I got green. I got green in my church. I got green in my sky. It happens to everybody, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. Did you like that book? And you know what? I like reading books no matter how. I like books being read to me, and I like reading books no matter how old you are. There's something really relaxing about having someone read to you, I think. So you guys, I just keep adding white till I get it to a good value, right? So when you add white, it's a tint, T-I-N-T. -T, and when you add black, it's a shade, like sunglasses. That's how you remember that. And again, if yours is not dry yet, try blow dryer. Or, and I was going to tell you guys too, I think I made a post yesterday. You can always paint the background like the night before or this morning. Um, so if you want, you can paint the background, let it dry, and come back later and do, you know, it. So uh, next week we're going to do the bike. Same thing. I'm going to have. I'm going to use acrylic paint. But if you guys want to do the same background like this, if you want to paint the background and then let it dry and then do the bike, you know, when we're doing class, you can do that. You can always pre-paint the background so it's dry. If you don't have a blow dryer, next week I'm going to have a blow dryer. It's going to be loud though. But let's give it a shot, right? Why not? You guys, I haven't used a blow dryer on camera yet. That's a first. I like firsts. It's fun. All right, I'm going to paint this part up here too. So, and again, we'll outline it later. I don't, I know you guys, the black line will define it. And a lot of people like to outline it first, but it's, it's just all that black paint gets in my other colors. So I'm going to outline it later. You know that black makes it pop out, right? That's why people like it. So I gotta lift this that things in the that's too white over there. And, you know, if you go to church and you um, want to make it look like your church or a church that's by your house or a church that you like the architecture, you can always, you know, change it to make it look like the church you go to. Customize it. And we can always... 
add highlights to it later. So you can't, I can't keep getting it whiter until I let it dry. It's called patience, right? So even me, I want it whiter, I want it bolder, but I can keep going over and over and over and it's not gonna cover it because it's too wet. So I'm gonna let it dry. Now I can add my bushes, okay? So you guys can use a brown brush. You can use the same flat brush. I'm gonna not put the yellow in this so my green will be a little bit darker, see? Um, so my grass that I used in the foreground right here has yellow in it. This one is just regular green. And look, I can overlap a little bit of the front of the church to make it look like it's, you know, in front of it, landscaping. And you can always add a little bit of white in there as well. If you want to, again, you know, give it a little depth. I just like tapped a little bit of white. Look, I'm tap, 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 tap. Give it a little bush look. You can make it go all the way off the edge of the page if you want to. Then I'm going to do my tree on the other side. And how high up does my tree come? Maybe right around here. I kind of lost the line, so I'll just re-sketch it. Right? It's kind of like Van Gogh's Starry Night Cypress Tree. You can make it come down as far as you want to. You can make it go up as high as you want to. You could tap, 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 tap. You could add a little highlight to it. I just put a little bit of white on the tip of my brush. Tap, 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 get a little texture. I like the texture, right? Hmm. Okay. Let's see how dry my blue is. Oh, my blue is pretty dry, you guys. So again, just if yours is dry, I don't know how thick. And also, I have to tell you, it depends on how thick you made your paint, right? So my blue is dry up here. Look at that. Look at that. Dry. So I can do my sun now. And if you have a round brush, that's a brush with a point, it would be easier than using a flat brush, right? So you can put your sun on if your blue is dry. And you might need a couple layers. So that means you have to let it dry. Patience, right? We're all practicing patience. So maybe my yellow sun would need a second coat. So I put one coat on. You might like the um, see the blue poking through, but it kind of looks like it's shaded. You see that? I'm gonna leave it and then I'm gonna put my sun rays. This tree right here, you see, like it's so. Um, this looks too well groomed. I like when it's a little bit like. Tip, tip, tip. I don't like when it's so perfect. So I'm gonna rough up the edge a little. Just like you know, like a real tree. How about those trees in Disney where they, you know, they? If you've never been to Disney, they have trees that are like shaped like you know Mickey Mouse and. So architect, some artist actually designs them and then creates them in trees. It's so cool. So um, we don't want our trees to be too perfect, though. So I'm still waiting for it to dry. Maybe I can put, let's see, 
How's yours coming, you guys? I, I want to do my stained glass windows, but I think mine has to dry a little bit more. And I lost my circle, too. Hopefully, it'll dry. But I still don't want to put... We could... No, I still don't want to do the black yet. I'm really dying to put the black lines back in there. Oh, let's do the sidewalk. How's your green coming? We could do the sidewalk next, okay? And then we'll go. I don't want to, I, I want to put the black lines in too, but I really want my sidewalk. And your sidewalk could be any color. I'm going to use that like red pink so you can mix a little bit of red and white together. You can use orange, whatever you think. So remember that it starts where the door is and it kind of comes out. So like a diagonal line. I'll resketch it because I lost my line. Right, so it's coming closer to us. See that? And I'm using back to those horizontal wispy lines. Right over the green. And it's okay if the green shows through, it looks kind of cool. So wispy horizontal lines. How's your sidewalk coming? It don't make it too perfect. See how my green's coming through? And it has texture. Oh, that's awesome, Flanagan family. So the Flanagans are making theirs and the kids were talking about giving their paint artworks to the pastor at their church. I think that's a great idea. You guys, I think that you can give your artwork to your church. You can make it into a card, right? You can keep one and then make one for somebody else. I think that's a beautiful idea. I think your pastor would love that. So you can even put, you know, uh, Parkside Church or whatever your church name. I, I go to a church down the street called Parkside. You could put Parkside Church. You could put a sign on it. You could write your favorite scripture verse, right? You could put blessings on it. You could put whatever you want to on it. However, you could put the Flanagans on it, right? So customize it however you want. You could even put your pastor in the picture. Oh, put your pastor looking out the window. He's looking at you guys, or he's standing outside, right? Oh, we could do the doors too. So if the, if your church doors aren't red, you don't have to make them red. So think about the the your church doors. What color are they? Are they brown? Are they wood? Are they glass? All right, so I use vertical lines for that door. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna put a little black line down the center of my door. Cause you know, we're all dying to use that black. Go slow, real thin. If you want, you can wait for um, it to dry and use a marker. 
don't press too hard because if you press too hard, the, your black line is going to get thicker. So be real gentle. See how outlining just makes it pop out. We love that, right? Give it a couple doorknobs. You can add the line across the bottom if you want. You can even add a little dark to the bottom of your trees if you want to. Again, just get, it gives it a little bit of depth. If you want it to, just a little bit, maybe down here. Maybe I'll give it a little tree trunk. All right, let's do, let's go back to here. Now I lost mine. So I'm going to try to do it. Ready? Maybe I should do here. Vertical line, vertical line. Diagonal line, diagonal line. Is it perfect? No. And again, I can always go back into it later with a um, with a marker. It's a little bit darker in here then, right? So I can make it a little bit darker. I have to save room for those windows, don't forget. So that's why I don't want to make it any wider because I want to put those windows in. While I have the black on my brush, I could put the cross on. Again, or you can use a Sharpie. want to outline my stained glass windows yet because I want to add the color first. Okay, we could do this over here too. Just go slow. So you know the heavier you press, the harder you press, the wider the bristle is going to spread. So you're going to get a thicker line. So that's why if I'm outlining with black paint, you want to use the thinnest brush you have. And as gentle as you can do it. I just comment, you guys good? Okay, now that stained glass window, you guys, look. You can add little dots of color. Don't do the black yet, because I don't want the black to take away from the color, right? So 
we can go back to, I'm going to use the smallest brush that I have. I'm going to put some blue in there. And it was like a flower, remember? So it kind of looked like that. I lost my lines. You guys might have lost your lines too. You can kind of re-sketch out that circle. But I don't want to do the black yet because I just don't want that black paint to get in all my pretty uh, stained glass window colors. But I like the blue in the... Um, in the stained glass. So that's why I'm kind of sketching it out. We can put the black outline on it later. I can sketch out my other windows too. You could add little flowers, like little little flowers down here. You could make a little, you know, ledge on your church with little flat picture, you know, like down here on the window. All right, let's see how we're gonna do the mosaic. So my flowers blue, and there's some red and yellow in the background. Tiny brush. Okay, I'll do some yellow first. So we have some yellow back here. And our stained glass, and I'm just putting little dots of yellow. Little dots. You can put little dots, on them, actually. Put a little yellow in there. Put a little yellow up here. Just little dots. Do you see that? It looks totally different up close than it does far away, right? Because your eye is actually kind of blending it all together. So um, don't, you know, look at your, when you have to step back from your artwork. Take a step back and look at it and then add a little bit more to it. I'm putting a little more yellow. I want to do some red, tiny brush for my mosaic window. Put some red dots in there. Well, look, they look primary colors, red, yellow, blue. A little more red. Oop. I got all these colors on my red, so now it looks, but if you want, you can put a little more, a little more red in your door. Now it's too red, so I need more white. And then you can go back to outlining your, whenever you like your mosaic window. You can go back to outlining it. It's a little crooked. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. I'm going to definitely outline the flower part here because I lost it, right? So one, two, three.
four, five. I can outline the circle. Again, you can wait for it to dry and use a Sharpie. I could add a little darker green. So it's, I'm just trying to balance it out, right? So I want this the bottom of the tree here to be a little darker. So while I had the black on my brush, I'm just going to mix some dark in that tree, give it a little shading, right? That's shading there. And you know it's going to be darker on the left side of the tree because the sun's over here. So the light's coming from over here. So it's going to be lighter on the right side and darker on the left, like a shadow. Where it's above the bush. So the sun's coming down like this. So the darkness would be over here. But you want to blend it in. Tap, 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 right? Oh, let's put some flowers. So again, you can have tons of flowers if you want to. And again, I would put them on the green grass if your grass is dry. Another thing, you could add stickers, you could add glitter, and you could put them right on the grass, right? You can use pinks and purples. But right now we have daffodils coming up over here. But you can add whatever. I have red paint out, so I'm going to use some red. You can use white. So I'm just putting these little kind of organic shapes for flowers. You see that? Kind of looks like a poppy garden. Don't make it look like a pattern, though, because it's natural, right? So we don't want to make it look too even. Maybe we'll put some over here or whatever flowers you want. You could add stems if you want to. And if, you know what I was thinking too, as I was doing this, what would be cute if you did, let's just say you do another one. It would be so pretty to make it like the cross glowing. So maybe the sun would be right behind the cross. That would look really nice too. So again, for next time, if you wanted to make another one, I would try that way. So um, I'm going to give you guys the link to come on whenever you're ready. You don't have to be done. Let me... Oh, where are you? Did it show up? Can you guys see that? No. Hmm. Hold on. You know how good I am at this. <laughs> it's so weird I guess it just depends on how I'm signed on if I'm signed on as Denise because I don't see the video in the So funny. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to actually make a post in the group. So I don't know why, but like, you'd think by now after doing this a hundred times, I would have gotten it down. So I just made the post for the link inside the group.
I'm just not even seeing the live video. Give me one more minute. I know I'm giving you guys time to work on your paintings. Oh, there I am. Okay. So let's see. I, let's see if you guys see it now. So I guess it just depends on if I'm like in Denise or um, Artist at Heart. Do you guys see the link now? Yay! Yay! Hey, Flanagan's! Hi, I have two. I have two. Let's, okay, let's see them. Full one. Beautiful. Next one. Excellent. Oh, I love your background. I love the Holy Week poster. That looks beautiful. Oh, I love it. Excellent. Thank you guys did great. I think your pastor will love it. You guys have a wonderful Easter. Thank Happy Holy Week. Mom, hey, Lola. Hi. I'm in the garage because people are cleaning my house. Okay, so here's mine. And I have a question. Okay. How did it take away the back? I accidentally did this with my what? jacket. The black hair. Wait, what did you accidentally do? Oh, you're gonna... black hair. Yeah. Is it wet or dry? Uh, Touch it. It's, it's dry. Okay, so you're going to paint more blue over it. Oh, okay. And I'm sorry if you don't hear me well. I have these uh, on my tea cap. Yeah, like, what is it? Um, expanders that they help oh. your teeth expand. Since my teeth are close to each other, there's teeth up, up here that need to go down. There. Does it feel funny? Yeah, I can't eat sticky stuff or popcorn. Oh, you know, yeah. I, got, I got Invisalign. So but, I have, it's the same thing, but my teeth are coming together. So it's to help give them more space. Oh, yeah. My brother has those. Yeah. So it's weird, right? Yeah. And what is your next art project? Your church, by the way, looks amazing. Thank it really you, so just when it, you know give the light blue paint over it again where that black smudge is or you can make it into something you can make it into a bird right you can make it into yeah. a happy little bird flying in the sky no. so you yeah. know so a week from today we're going to do the bicycle did you see the bicycle picture um no it's a bicycle with a basket full of flowers um uh, when is that a week, in a week. So right now, and you guys know I always end up adding stuff, but right now, throughout, so tomorrow's April 1st, but um, every Wednesday at one o'clock for April, we're doing a class. So every Wednesday, so a week from today. Wait, so tomorrow's April Fool Day? Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> I can't wait. I have nothing to do for my parents. Well, you're going to have to come up with some silly jokes, right? Yeah, sort of. No, and, but, uh, you know a good um, joke? Um, no. Now, don't ruin anything, but if you make a bug, like, okay, like a like a oval or a circle shape, yeah. and then put it, um, don't glue it, but, like, put it on something that has light, it, it would create, like, a shadow, and then it looks like there's a bug, but it's really not. That's a good one. So you'd have to create, like, um, with construction paper or notebook paper or even on a Post-it, and then you put it somewhere where the light would hit it, and it you gotta experiment. But that's a good one to make someone think uh, it was a big. 
Yeah, and maybe we can do like a fairy art. Fairy? Yeah, like like a fairy in the forest sitting down. Sure. I'll look for something like that. Yeah. Sounds good. And, and uh, this, and how do we color the mirrors again? I didn't follow the instructions. I just so. use little dots. Of, use the smallest brush you have. I did the flower shape, and then I did like little red and orange, uh, little red and yellow dots. You okay. see that? And I don't think I'm gonna. Maybe I'm gonna be doing the art because I'm gonna be in the spring break. Okay. So I'm gonna be like in different places. Like we're gonna go um, road tripping to different hotels and. How fun is that? Yeah. When's that? When's your spring break? Um, in Friday. We're going at nighttime, so I'm not gonna have that time to sleep. Sounds so fun, Lola. You yeah. be and and have a great time and happy Easter. Yeah, happy. And I don't think the Easter bunny is gonna come because we're gonna go on Friday and Easter's so close there. Uh, I really wanted to. It will. Yeah. I hope. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Hi. Hi, girls. So this is my picture. Oh, would you use like, crayons? No, that's pencil. A pencil. I have like little pretty. flowers at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. That looks great. I love it. Good job. And then Carly has another one. Mine has a butterfly. A butterfly right there. Oh, and, okay. and this is whatever that is. Bring it's forward. not a fly. It's not a fly. It's not a fly. It's a second. I love it. You know what? That could give me an idea. Flowers. And I didn't know it was a path. I thought it was rocks, so I put rocks in there. Oh, path. you could do rocks? You could do a rock, a stone path. I love that. I did do that. And you know what? That butterfly, Lola, you could turn your black accident into a butterfly. Like, you know how Lola accidentally got black? You can make it into a butterfly like you. That's awesome. Thanks, girls. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. And one thing, Natasha's sick, so she can't do this. Oh, well, I hope she gets better. What if it was Cora? Like, it was on, like, Friday she got because she was off Friday and then she's off all this week. So, well, you guys better And stay then home. she was um sick until like Sunday. And then Tasha just got sick yesterday. Aww. All right. Mm -hmm. well, I'll say prayers for you guys to stay healthy for all you guys. So, you guys all have a great Easter. Okay. Bye. Bye, you guys. Bye. Hi girls! Oh, hi. So we are using temper picks today, and it turns out they're really hard to blend, but I made mine really vibrant. Yeah, that is amazing. I love the colors. Yay. So you're using tempera. Are those paint sticks? Yeah. Those, yes. Yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're really hard to blend, but, you know, minimal cleanup goes off them. The colors are beautiful, though. Yeah. It looks like a poster. It does. Mine. Love it. And um, while I was waiting I, um, to go online, I drew this. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I love drawing people. I was thinking one day, if you guys want, we could have you guys teach them how to do anime characters. <gasps> yes, I love doing that. You, would you, I, well, I saw your YouTube channel, but do you guys, would you want to do that one day? Just like go real slow and yeah. teach them how to do it? Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do it in May. Yes. That would be awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys have a great Easter. You too. And you know you how too. you said you have Invisalign? Yes. Because <laughs> you guys tell by the way I talk? No, we no. can't even tell. No? Hard. Yeah, you that's so like, that's yeah. a surprise when you said yeah. you had them. Yeah, I have them too, and I have the rubber bands, and it's like, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> and you, you know how you have to change them every week? Yeah. Yes. You mm -hmm. know what I do sometimes? I forget, like, I, I leave a set somewhere and then I start the new one and then I don't know which one is the new one and which one is the old one. Do you have that problem? I try to be really careful. It hasn't happened yet, but it almost has a few times. 
Yeah, I, I have a collection now and I'm like, okay, you're right. I need to just, I'm not that organized. So I'm like, oh my gosh, which one's the new one? Which one's the old one? So it's just, I'm going to like, remember which ones are which, but yeah. Go ahead. I want pictures. Those are beautiful. Ooh, absolutely. Yes, we will. Thanks girls. Happy Thank Easter. Thanks, Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Heart. Oh, there's ears. No, ears. Oh, ears. That's ears. Like ears. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 Hey, girls! Hi. Hi! Hi! Thanks for waiting so patiently. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I like your... Oh, that one's mine. I'm telling you. I love you. the I'm them. And that one's mine. That's a great... I love your son, too, and how he has sunglasses. That was a bunny white that down in the bush. Oh, I love the bunny. I got to put a bunny in mine. And then that was a, a, a rabbit in the tree. That's a... It's a robin in the tree? A rabbit. A red bird. Oh, a red bird, like a cardinal. Yeah. I love it. And then that was these... Bunnies for Easter, and they um, they have um little um eggs right now. Oh, I love that! And you know what you could do too if you have cotton balls, you could glue a cotton ball on each one. Oh for the yeah, I want to do that. Those look so cute. What about before the Easter day? You um, what about you make an Easter project for us to make? I was cotton balls. She, she has. I watched. There. I watched Noggin Nose and I made this. It's the ocean. It's beautiful. You should put some fish in there too. Well, um, the the Noggin Nose teacher didn't really put fish in there, but he didn't put a sun up. But I just wanted that to be a sun so it could get brighter and darker. So you know what? I did the bunny painting twice, and I just the other one that I did, I did it um. Uh, Saturday. So I know you guys did the, the bunny painting I did a year ago, but the one I did on Saturday, if you watch that one, that's where I glue on the, the cotton tails. So, so uh, funny thing, she just literally did those bunnies. She hasn't watched your bunny video. I don't know where she came up with the idea. She hasn't even seen it. She just, oh, oh. oh she saw a picture somewhere, but she hasn't okay. watched the video. She just did that. Oh just my gosh, that's awesome. Well, if, if you mm -hmm. skip all the way to the end, you can see where I just glue on the tail. So, okay, we'll do that. This one's Charlotte's. I oh, wanted, Charlotte, that's cool. When the, when the moon is, you can't Hers really is at see nighttime it. with stars. Hang on. Oh, I love that. And there's stepping stones like the other girl. I love them. I didn't, I didn't copy the other girl. I just came up with that. Yeah, because you haven't seen it. And I like almost wanted to be an artist all my life. Excellent. All five years. And, and I didn't even <laughs> um um watch these Look, before oh, mommy I saw your app. Do you remember a hippo? You know what? I'm going to do it. Um, I think the hippo is coming in May. I'm going to do a hippo in May, okay? Yes, I promise you guys I'm going to have a cool hippo in May. Next week, we're going to do a bicycle with flowers. I love hippos. I know you do. Hippos are my favorite animals. We're going to do a hippo in May, I promise you. Thank you. You guys have a great week. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. Happy Easter. Thanks for creating with us. Oh, thank you. Bye, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, you guys. There's another fabulous day. You guys did amazing. Thank you so much for creating with me. God bless you guys. Stay safe. St stay healthy. Nobody else gets sick, right? It's sometimes when the seasons change and things start to come out, uh, things start to bloom, people get colds and sinus issues and allergies. So you guys stay safe and um, happy Easter. And I will see you again soon. Bye, you guys. Thank you.